I'm Leonie from the Wool Bar and today we're going to learn the travelling loop method of working in the round with circular needles. And the circular needles you'll require are 80 centimetres long or longer. So you can work any number of stitches if you've got that length. Here we go. I just adore knitting in the round. We have covered knitting with double pointed needles to knit in the round. We've done circular needles where you have the needles exactly the same size as the number of stitches. Today we're going to talk about knitting with the traveling loop. So we've got the neckline of a sweater that I've started. Now this is particularly advantageous when you're knitting in the round. You don't have to do seams, so how good is that? So I've got the neck I've done in the round and then I've started doing increases. When I got down to the armhole, I put all of the stitches on one circular needle bar the sleeve for one sleeve I'm going to work. So this one I have got this very fancy technique of putting a rubber band on the two needles there so that all the stitches that are being held here don't fall off because there's nothing worse than having to pick up drop stitches. Not a lot of them anyway. So I'm working on the sleeve currently and I'm going to show you how to do this with what I call a travelling loop. So I've got 80 centimetre circular needle, which is way too long. That's certainly not 80 centimetres for the sleeve. I've got one that's way too long, but that's ideal for the travelling loop. So I'm going to push my stitches up to the tip of the left needle. And then I'm going to make a loop, a spare loop, which is going to travel all the way around that circle. And you might notice too I'm using two yarns together that's because I like to thicken yarns up and it makes a quick knit. You can knit with fat needles that way but I mix up textures and thicknesses so you, you can create anything you know you don't have to stick to the rules and I'm definitely not a, a rule abider. <laughs> so anyway this loop is going to travel all the way around. I have to knit into the first stitch with my right needle and it's going to move away from my thumb. My thumb is just holding it in place to start with, but now it's going to travel. Now you notice that loop has moved away from my thumb. It's now around towards the back of the sleeve and it's going to work its way from there all the way back to the beginning again. And now I'm knitting into the last stitch of the round and look here comes the loop again. So we have no stitches left on that left needle. They're all over here and on the cord. So now I have to push them back 
to the tip of the left needle like so and moving your knitting around at the same time move it around to the start and put the loop under your thumb again meet the stitches up near each other so the end of one round and the start of the next are up close or well, they think they're close but there's actually a big loop between them and you get started on your round again so knitting in the round using the traveling loop method with circular needles is my favorite way of knitting in fact the garment that I'm wearing right here I started at the top of the neck with the 80 centimeter circular needle but using the traveling loop because it's a small circle I've used that for the neckline and then as I've proceeded down here I've just gone to the normal 80 centimeter length without the traveling loop then when I've gone onto the sleeves and done them in the round I've gone back to using traveling loop for there so the whole garment could be used with 80 centimeter circular needles if you only have to buy one set of needles, I'd get the 80 centimetre length. Now, if you've liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and have your notifications turned on because then you'll be told every time I make a new video. Until then, happy knitting.